What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. In today's video, guys, I'll be talking about the new Rock event update this whole week. And first of all, guys, this is probably one of the best days in Pokemon Go, especially for me because the Pokemon that I caught was unbelievable and I honestly couldn't believe it. So usually this Pokemon does come out from a 10 kilometer egg. That's the only way to get it besides obviously catching one. But uh, before this update, this Pokemon used to be super rare. I've seen it before in like gyms and stuff, but uh, it's still a really rare Pokemon. But we did catch an Aerodactyl Pokemon, 1661 CP. I mean, this is just fantastic. And the CP is really, really high, especially for my first catch. Now, the appraise level is not the best. It is decent level, and its best quality is its defense. So, obviously, the best quality is defense. I really wish I had attack because I did try this at a gym, but obviously, it wasn't the best at it. I mean, it was all right. I was fighting a Blissey, so it was pretty tough, but this Pokemon is really, really sweet, and finally, it is actually my collection. Like, I'm super excited. Then we did catch this Pokemon. Um... I feel like this is a pretty common one as well. I've seen this one a couple of times too. Now, I was surprised when I was actually, when I saw this Pokemon because I thought that Aerodactyl would actually go away. But, you know, surprisingly, it still stayed there. And I think it took me, I yeah, I think it only took me one try to get it because I threw maybe two tries at most. I don't remember either one or two, but um, I think it might have been one. I used the Ultra Ball and the Raspberry and that did the trick, so... That is awesome. Now I don't have to worry about getting this Pokemon at all. But the very first Pokemon I actually got with this update was this Graveler, 1405 CP. And that praise is really strong. Its best quality is attack and it's the best stat. So I do have a Graveler. I don't know if it's maxed out. But um, if we go to actually, let me go back. If we go to Combat Power, we do have him somewhere in here. Uh, let's see. You see, 1100. Oh no, he's 1084. So, this one is the best one. But the thing is, I mean, it's got the best stats. Um, let me see if its defense is actually good too. Its best quality is HP, which is 76. A great uh, attack is great too. Now, if we go to the top, so that was 76 CP. I mean, HP. This one's 85, so this one has a lot more HP, plus it's almost maxed out. Now, personally, I feel like this one's going to be better, even though it's not the best one. The CP really does make a difference, but uh, you guys can tell me in the comment section below whether I should keep the 1405 CP with the really strong appraise or keep the 1084 with the, you know, with the best appraise. Um, but again, significantly lower CP in this Pokemon. But that's still shocking to see that have a Graveler to actually appear on the map. So I'm just super happy, guys, with this update. And I decided to actually go with the Magikarp just because it's only 0.25 kilometers. So every one kilometer, you can get four candies. So that is a lot, guys. And I chose that over my Charmeleon, even though I was closer with the Charmeleon. To be honest, I feel like... I should just do this now because uh, getting Tremillion candies for me is a lot easier than it is with Magikarp. Even though Magikarp takes less kilometers than obviously Tremillion, but I still have a lot to do. So with this, I might as well just kind of at least get to 200. That would be my goal, maybe a little bit more than 200. We'll see. But 0.25 kilometers for an egg, I mean for a candy, is pretty... Um, small distance so every one kilometer would be four eggs so that's pretty awesome i think with the charmeleon it's 0.75 kilometers for a candy which is not bad but i, I do really want to get my magikarp candies up so i can get closer with the gyarados if i can get this at least to 200 which i should be able to very very easily probably my goal is probably 250 i can probably do that as well with this pokemon now if we go to a praise um, it's really strong, it's best quality, it's HP, and it's stats are the best I've ever seen. So, if I evolve this, it becomes into like a 27, 28, some 2900 maybe CP. So, super excited for that, guys. But um, otherwise, I don't think we've caught anything new besides the Pokemon I already mentioned. So, if we go to recent, let's go back all the way to the top. If I can scroll up, there we go. We did catch a Rhyhorn as well. So that's pretty awesome. Rock type Pokemon. Now, 
The Pokemon I really want to catch now, I'm still excited, guys, about the Aerodactyl. I mean, don't get me wrong, this Pokemon is sweet, and I'm honestly really happy with this. But the other Pokemon I want to catch is the Tyranitar now. That is an extremely rare Pokemon to actually get inside the game. And it is a Rock-type Pokemon, so we'll see if it actually will spawn. I've seen it on Twitter, actually, a few people got it, so, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm really excited, guys. This is probably the best Pokemon I've caught um for sure and probably the best one i have in my pokedex i mean i'm not even lying like this pokemon is just amazing uh, i can't complain about cp the appraise level i'm not too happy about because it's decent it's not strong or the best but it's better than the one that says you know your pokemon needs improvements so i'm gonna see you know i'm gonna compare the graveler cp on the app the poke genie app as well as the eric Doctal, and see what kind of stats we have here but anyway Tell me what you guys think about this update. I actually caught a ride on as well, 668. So really, really good, you know, Pokemon that I've been catching lately. I think Sudovudo is a rock type Pokemon as well. I know White Lightning or Mystic 7 enjoys Sudovudo and really likes catching them. I don't get why, but you know what? You know, it's a pretty sweet Pokemon nonetheless. And I think that's about it. Uh, let's see. That's a grass type Pokemon, I believe. Taurus is a normal, so Rock Tide will be spawning more often. I do have the Sunflora, guys, and I made a big mistake by actually evolving. I should have waited because I have a really good Sun Current. I should have just waited. So that was just my mistake on evolving that too soon. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Again, if you guys caught an Aerodactyl, a lot of you guys should have because when I logged on, you know, a lot of people have had this Pokemon. And it was pretty much spawning like Pidgeys, I guess, to some players. I don't know. But to me, I only saw it once so far. So uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead, smash like button. That would be amazing. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.